Then the last topic today is Merkle tree. And it, it, uh, very quickly we will cover it. So what Merkle tree is, and again CSIT branch, you must have studied this thing in a whole lot depth. I'm not going to go into that much of detail, but I want to show you what's the benefit of Mer Merkle tree is. Till now, we were just talking about one data. So now suppose you have so many set of data like L1, L2, L3, L4, right? Suppose you have four set of data. And you want to make sure that all these data are, are immutable. That is, you want to make sure that all these data should be, no one should be able to change this data. So one way is that you create a hash of each of the data and store it, right? That you store the hash of L1, you store the hash of L2, you store the hash of L3, you store the hash of L4, and you store it. But that's a tedious work that you will have to store so many so many hash. Also, if you want to search anything, then you will have to search independently. That you know, you search here, then either you search L2, L3, L4. So search functionality as well as storing will become a very tedious work. So what you do is you store the data, especially in blockchain, the way you store the data is in the form of Merkle tree. What you do is you take two data, L1 and L2, or here, here you go, that's how you do. You take this data L1, you create a hash. You take L2, create a hash, L3 hash, L4 hash, okay? Now you take these two hash and create a hash again, right? Same way on the right side, you take these two hash, you create a hash again. Now, you take the hash zero and hash one and you create a top hash. And now you store this top hash only with you. The benefit is, suppose someone tries to change data of L1. If L1 will change, the hash zero zero will change. If hash zero zero will change, hash zero will change. And if hash zero will change, then top hash will change. You see, that now just by storing one top hash, you are able to secure so many data in one shot. Rather than storing hash of each data alone, as long as you have, you secure the hash, the top hash, then all the data will be secured. Is that right? Does that make sense? Again, someone, Animesh, Tivyanshu, Himanshu, Jatin, Fankuri, Ritika. Because this is an important concept again. But but you see, it's that simple, right? If you understood the hash initially, then it is just arrangement of data and hash in such a way that you can manage whole, like bigger set of data that you can have just one hash and just by having that one hash, you can secure so many data in one shot. Uh, uh, the same concept is applicable to an, uh, uh, the, the, the thing that you have explained, uh, the block, the transaction block, that if we change the hash of one block, we have to change the hash up to the genius. Oh. That's true. It's just that that was linear. And Genesis that, block. Yeah, that's right. So that the only difference is that was linear and this is in the form of tree. Right? So there... Okay. All the data was arranged in a linear fashion and here we are arranging in a tree and the reason why we are arranging in a tree because search function becomes very easy. So I'm pretty sure you all must have heard whether you're from CS or not or IT or, from or not, you all must have heard about binary search. So since we are arranging this information in the binary tree, the search functionality becomes very easy. Not in right the, if you want to search any of your data because of the search functionality your time will be reduced to half or even less than that again i do not have the right uh, data but uh, binary uh, you almost have heard that binary search is one of the most efficient search and that's why we arrange the data in, in this binary search tree but specifically because we are talking about hash it is called merkle tree So, sir, actually blockchain is in this form or uh, that form, uh, linear one? Blockchain is in that form, but the data, okay. Let me go here, okay. So, blockchain is in this form, it is in linear form, but these transaction data, okay, the data is not stored okay. inside the block, but you store the data in this format and only the top hash is stored inside this blockchain. 
The reason being if you start storing all the data inside the blockchain, then the size of the block will become very large. Right? In order to keep the size of the blocks small or reasonable enough, what you do is you create you take the data, you create this top hash, and you take this top hash and store in the inside the blockchain. Now, when we are saying that this blockchain is immutable, that means that top hash is immutable. That means this data is immutable. Does that answer you, Jatan? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you mean to say uh, for every block, uh, there could be a Merkle tree associated with it, right? Possible, yes. Okay. But it's but in in real world in Ethereum, it's not for every block, but for entire blockchain. But yes, you know, in there can be a blockchain where there can be a Merkle tree for each block. But the way it works is that you have mm -hmm. one Merkle tree or one state for this entire blockchain and you keep storing the new hash every time. So suppose L1 changes, you just store the delta, whatever has changed from the previous Merkle tree to the new Merkle tree. Okay. But again, we will talk more. We will go like we will talk about what you asked me, like we will go into more details. Yeah, but yes. in incoming lectures because that's the part which we need to understand very very thoroughly so we will talk it in more detail that how exactly this data works and also i'll be able to show you exactly how it works on ethereum or bitcoin okay. so so that does that answer you for now that okay yeah okay. I, yes it can be for each block but ideally it's not for each block but it is for entire blockchain there is one market tree actually there are certain there are more than one Merkle tree. There, they, there is some Merkle tree for the block itself also, and there is one Merkle tree for the entire blockchain also. Okay. So there are various Merkle tree. So, but yes, to answer your question, yes, it can be for each block also. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thanks. So, anyone else? Any question? Because that's the last topic which I wa wanted to cover today.